Well, hello, Gemini friends. Thank you everyone for watching. What I've got for you today is a weekly general video for my Gemini friends from, oh, I'd say about the time of July 15th through the 22nd. We're going to focus here on uh, your general life, uh, Gemini Sun Moon Rising, or if you want to look that is specific to love, we're going to do a reading at my Vimeo channel that focuses on love for Gemini. But uh, Oh, and by the way, thank you so much for being concerned about the length of this week's videos. I have expanded my audience. I've taken it from just my friends, and I've globalized it, so I'm going out to more territory and with that I find myself incredibly overwhelmed. So between the chaos of the holidays and my increasingly busy schedule, thank you all so much. Um, the videos this week are a bit shorter. We're going to get back to uh, deep and um, deep and essential next week. All of that is coming about again in about a week. Um, by this time next week, I'll be back to my old self. Uh, let's get some, let's rip some quick uh, videos for next week though for you guys. The 15th through the 22nd, a day or two before or after, and thank you to all of my Facebook friends. Uh, thank you for sharing for liking whatever you do over there at uh, YouTube, thumbs up, thumbs down. My deepest appreciations to my Twitter friends. And now let's take a look. And that's everybody on social media. Like I said, I've expanded. So let's see that one. The Four of Pentacles, Queen of Chalices and the death card. I took them all off the top of the deck. And the eight of swords. Well, some of you are coming out of a period of stagnation. I really think that you're coming out of a time of maybe having to be more frugal, more uh, responsible where your money is concerned. Some people would maybe even call you cheap or greedy at this point. Whenever I see the Four of Pentacles, nowadays I don't go by the ancient definition of this card. You can't. You're, we're all being forced in one way or another to be more responsible where our money is concerned. Gemini is no different. So if you're finding a period where you have to save your money, a period where you have to be more responsible financially, the Queen of Cups talks about expanding. And she's very much about emotional. She can be going through emotional ties. It's all kind of connected here. This maybe home situation, financial situation, is connected to your love situation directly. So if it's a partnership, maybe you're trying to save your money together as a unit because you're wanting to change a situation in your life. I would say <clears throat> you may be considering moving into a better home, a better neighborhood, somewhere where the schools for your children hold more promise, more security. Um, you're looking to try something new because maybe in the past there has been a failure or at the very least you've been sort of stuck um, in a immobile situation. Maybe you've been tied to a mortgage or tied to a lease or tied to a family situation. Maybe even something that's connected to this Queen of Cups. 
Maybe you're renting your house from your parents or a sister and you're starting to feel like that situation has worn itself out. If you are dealing with someone difficult, we're flipping her on her head because she's not a loving type of energy. She's someone that you're really seriously considering. I need to get away from this person. Maybe there are too many emotional ties in your home situation. If you are subletting a place from a family member or a friend, I feel like there's some uneasiness afoot. A lot of it is directly connected to money. Maybe you're renting from a friend and they raise your rent. Or you've been buying a home or, or renting a home on a promise to purchase. And that person after years of dependency on that situation has decided to change the agreement. But you know, with the death card, I always say that with this kind of an ending, there's always a bigger, better, more improved beginning that follows it. So whatever is ending here for Gemini, I really think it's more about the rebirth than it is about the changes that you might be going through. Now, this isn't going to resonate with everyone. This may only talk to a handful of people. But if you know a Gemini who is going through this situation, point the video out to them. Because what I really see coming through at this time, if this is your situation or you see this coming down the road, <clears throat> the changes that you go through are going to be improvements. If the death card always brings the rebirth, the uprising of the spirit. You know, it's that feeling that, yeah, I got knocked down, but I'm back on my feet and I'm fighting my way through this. So, even though the ending, it may have been slow to come about because the death card can be a very slow energy of, you know, the slow, miserable kind of death of a situation. But the end is here. Whether it was quick or not, the end is here. There is always a little bit of remorse with the situation. There's always a solution to the problem as we move through it. Okay, Gemini, that's what I've got for you for the week, but I don't want to leave you until I give you a Goddess Guidance card. Let's see, this is Goddess Guidance from our dear friend Doreen Virtue. I have never met her, but I think her work is wonderful. Undying love is ult. The love you have shared is eternal, regardless of your situation. This really just confirms for me that your personal life, your personal situation is going to maintain its stability. Um... It's going to create even a stronger bond between two people. But the love that you share with those of you that are sharing this experience with someone, your family, if you're going through something and your friends are there, holding your hand, helping you through, it's directly connected to a sense of real resolve and love between this no matter how small the group of people it may just be the two of you but you're walking through a situation where you're done with the conflict and now you're free to move forward this may be something you're just observing in your life now or going through at this time. It may just be a faint energy in the air. During this time, though, if you're feeling it, there's a rebirth that comes with the situation. You're going to have to be patient. Four of Pentacles is always about the slow energy, 
that forces you to be patient. So be patient. Through this journey, it's only a week. Now I'm going to go look at my Vimeo channel for a love reading. If you want a reading just for you, check out the sales, the summer sales. They'll be ending soon. Go on over and book your reading. Um, within the next oh, few days, I'll be making a decision when to cut those readings off. So, I may have to <laughs> soon. So, go ahead and reach out to me for those specials. They're only going on for a little while longer. Uh, reading, focusing on your questions, your concerns, your personal birth information, and we go from there. So reach out to me and we'll get that process started. Send me an email if you need to. And until next time, take care, Gemini. Be well and peace.